We're doing, doing a, we're doing an update. Okay. He's still, he's still drumming. So going away, singing harmony. Do all that punk rap metal. 311, the official band of band nerds. <laughs> <laughs> Not because of Eric, just I know many of them. Yeah. I experienced it. <laughs> I was one at one time, and I loved them. I'm proud to I say. saw them twice. Is it a good show? Yeah, it's a good time. But it was a good time in 98. When, you're se when you were seven? <laughs> when I was four. This is from a guy who played in a ska band, right? It's true. <laughs> Dude, ska bands are terrible. Jordan, what do you say about ska bands? They're only about something like that. Ska band, uh, band horn players, that's their only really outlet to get in. Yeah, the, the thing about ska music is, quote Steve, <laughs> is that... Here's the thing. It was the one chance for banders to be... To an alto sax player to be in a that wasn't a jazz player to ever get a chance to get laid because he was in a band. I don't know if that's true, because what girl's going to say... Yeah, I totally got on a, the alto sax player from Mule Ticket. <laughs> I don't know of a one. Not a one. And then there's always there's like those like fringe ska bands, third wave ska bands that like mix it up by having like a tuba or clarinet. Oh boy. This is an Pretty cool. His Gatorade shaker. <laughs> I see Eric. Eric, when he's driving. <laughs> <laughs>